Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you guys how to get this slightly volumized, curly, kind of wavy look. So I hope you guys enjoy it and just keep watching. To create this look, I'm going to use the Remington Ultra Styler. For my heat defense, I'm using the VO5 Heat Defense Taming Spray. The great thing about this is like an aerosol kind of thing, so your hair doesn't get wet. I already used some blow dry lotion and heat defense when I was blow drying my hair, but this is just added heat defense. The hairspray that I'm using is by Tresemme. It's the Freeze Hold number no. 5. This is the extra strongest hold that they have. So I'm going to start by spraying some of the heat defense through my hair. And then I'm just going to brush that through. Now I'm going to separate my hair into two parts. So I'm just going to take the first section up here and twist it. I always like to twist it and kind of place like a bun on top of my head and it almost gets the hair started on being curled so it's going to be okay to curl it. So I'm just going to place a little bun on top of my head and tie it like this. If I was straightening it then I would just clip it up. Then I'm going to split my hair down the back and then pull out two sections like this. So I'm going to take one of the back sections back here I'm going to take my straightener, or you can refer to it as a curler, and I'm going to pop it into the roots. Always make sure that black is up to the roots. And I'm going to twist it, and then I'm going to slowly pull down like this. There I have my curl and just leave it at the back. Now, I always like to work from the back to the front so that every time a section is done, it's pushed to the back so I don't get confused. Twist. And then pull down the length of the hair nice and slowly. So this side is done as well. I'm just going to spritz some hairspray. I just want them to be natural curls, so I haven't curled right up here. I've mostly left the curls to be at the bottom of the hair. Now I'm going to move on to the top section. And as you can see as I take this out, it's already got a nice little wave to it, so it's going to allow me to curl it a little bit better. I'm still going to take this section here, and I'm going to twist that up on top of my head again. Now, instead of halfing down the back like I did before, I'm going to take it into three sections. So I'm going to have this section along the back here, and along here as well, and pull this to the front. And then I still have this set. And this way the curls are going to be like this and like this. And at the back they're going to be flowing down that way. Rather than taking this hair and pulling it to the front, you'll get more of a natural look if it's going in the same direction as the hair growth. I'm going to take it out like this and do it in the same way. Bringing it right to the root, twisting it, and then just pulling it down nice and slowly. So you get a nice curl. We're going to keep it at the back. So I've curled all these sections along here and now I'm going to work around my face. So I always like the curls to be going backwards rather than kind of going over across the face. So I'm going to take a section, which is quite a broad section that way rather than this way. And I'm going to take my curler, pop it in at the roots and rotate it away from my face like this. And that way you kind of get a sweeped back kind of curl. I'm going to work on that top section, so I've just taken it down. I'm just going to do an off-center parting like this. I'm going to do exactly the same thing where it's kind of being flipped backwards. So I take the front section here, put my straightener in, and rotate it back and up. And this adds a lot of volume to the top as well. And then I'm just going to slowly work this out. So you get kind of a kickback wave. So leave it, don't touch it until it has time to cool. And I usually do this with all the kind of top sections. It's kind of working away from the face. Once they've cooled down, I'm just going to run my fingers slightly through them. You can also use a very wide toothed comb as well. If you have a problem with massive flyaways, just apply a little bit of kind of a gel or a serum to your fingertips and that way when you're running it through it will smooth out those kind of flyaways. If you want to add some volume to the hair, just take a teasing comb, lift up a little section, do a touch of back combing and that way you'll get nice lift. So I really hope that you enjoyed this look. I'm Shady Katie and thank you for watching.